Hi, my name is Raylene. I am back with another video. I really just wanted to share 10 things for newborns that I think are really essential. Um, just the basic necessities. I'm a mom of three, so by this time I feel like I've really come to learn like what works for me and what I use and what I don't really need. So yeah, I just try to keep things simple. I think that there's just so many new products now. Of course, you know, they may look cool, they may look pretty. You don't need, you know, every little thing that someone invents or comes up with. I think that keeping it simple is just really important, especially at this age. They really just eat, sleep, you change them, you feed them, pretty much it for this stage in their life. So I think that like having less is best. So these are just the 10 basic necessities that I found myself, you know, reaching for and really using. This is mostly for like zero to three months. So when they're still really little, you might think that you need more, but it's really quite simple. You just need a few items. So let's get started. First of all, when they're sleeping, you do want to put them in a swaddle. So um, I just opted to use these sort of swaddles. This one is from Amazon. It's a Velcro type of swaddle, so it keeps their arms really snug. Um, when they're sleeping, they kind of feel like you're holding them and which allows them to sort of sleep a little longer. If you don't like the Velcro swaddle, you can also use sort of these, the muslin blankets. Um, you can wrap them with these blankets. Those work really well too. Um, so yeah, basically item number one is a swaddle and you can kind of try out different ones or parents kind of realize like which ones work for them best. So yeah, just try out a couple, see which ones work best for you. Okay, item number two. I think at this stage when your baby's a newborn, having a baby carrier that you can wear is really useful. Um, so there's some that, you know, you have to look at the size. Some are for like four months and up, six months and up. At this age, you really want one that is for a newborn. So you want one that is, you know, on the smaller side. Now with the baby carriers, you can either, you know, just choose to buy one that fits your newborn and then plan to buy a second one that fits your baby once they get a little bigger. So having two carriers is not really, you know, that big of a deal, especially if you're planning on having more than one kid down the line. It's really helpful when you need your hands and your baby wants to be carried so you can have your baby with you and, you know, also have free hands to get things done. Okay, item number three. I think this is a really essential item for newborns and this would be the baby like pajama onesie basically. So I ordered this pack on Amazon and it was actually really nice. It's 100% cotton, it's very soft. It has the zippers at the bottom and the top and it, it came in a three pack and there's like a fun little print and then two solid kind of neutral colors so it's long sleeve and pants and it has the so you want to try to get one with like the that covers the feet and one that covers the hands so this one can fold over and then cover their nails so they're not scratching themselves the, at the newborn stage their nails can be really sharp so having the fold this option to fold over is really useful to protect their face from any scratches. So I think this was like a pretty good, pretty good price. The pajamas are really soft and comfy and they're kind of like that stretch, stretchy material. So it was really comfortable and really, I was really surprised by the quality. But these are great. I mean, even during the day that your baby can just keep these on, you know, depending on the weather. Um, but obviously they're great for nighttime, especially if you have to change their diaper. Like I said, there's a, the zipper at the bottom, which opens up. So I think this is a great item to have on hand for your newborn. Item number four would be a binky or a pacifier, whatever you guys call it. These ones are really cute. I found these on Amazon 
And so when it's in your baby's mouth, it's kind of like, it's like a little flower, like on their face. There's a lot of different styles of binkies or pacifiers. So as a parent, you kind of just try different ones and see which one works best for your baby. Some babies will prefer a certain type over the other. So it kind of, it's sort of just trial and error with this item. Now item number five, we're on number five now, and burp cloths. You need a lot of burp cloths. You, at first I only had like maybe five or seven, and I realized, you know, I really need more than this. Some babies spit up more than others, of course, but just having a bunch on hand is really useful. Again, you know, you can find these anywhere, Amazon, Target. I love how this one's just really soft and it's kind of like that muslin um, fabric again. I think just, you know, grabbing like a couple packs would be your, your best option. Otherwise, you're just gonna keep washing them over and over. Yeah, just keeping them around the house would be a good option. Um, these are always needed like to like clean any spit up or, you know, drool once they start drooling a little when they're older always good to have on hand. Okay, um, item number six. For me, I have breastfed all of my babies. So this is my third baby that I've breastfed and I've always opted to use nursing pads like in the bra. Um, but I don't like buying them like at Target or Walmart because I find that they're always just really thick. Um, I guess like the brands that they have there are just, they don't carry like a thin, a really thin one. So these ones I found online on Amazon. The brand is Mom Cozy and they're just really thin. So, you know, if you're wearing like a tight shirt, you can't tell that you're wearing it. They're thin, but they do absorb a lot of liquid. So it's really good for those early weeks where you have a lot of milk coming in. There could be some leakage. This is really good to just to have that way nothing it shows through your shirt and of course I'll link everything down below uh, but yeah these ones I found on Amazon okay item number seven so for me I have always used a nursing pillow with all three of my kids and I know some people say they can go without it but for me I feel like it's just really helpful when I'm feeding my baby. It really props them up well, like compared to just a normal pillow. Um, and then, you know, like sometimes you don't want their face on a normal pillow because of like germs or it just hasn't been washed or the dogs on it. So kind of just having like their designated pillow is really nice. And then you can also save it for when they're like one or two years old, they can kind of sit in it and then you know, they're not falling back onto the floor. They're kind of enclosed in the little pillow shape, um, which helps them kind of sit up more on their own. Um, I think they're really useful, but you know, again, everyone's gonna have their preference uh, if they want it or not. So this one I just found on Amazon, the cover. I actually made the cover a few years ago. So um, it was just a fabric that I liked. So I decided to make that. And then, so number eight, I would say sometimes when your baby is kind of fussy, you know, they just want to lay down on their own. They just want to lay flat. So number eight, I would say is having something that you can place them in. Something where they're safe, you know, they want to lay down sometimes. They just want to lay like on their back or they just want to sit on their own. Um, sometimes putting them on the couch, you know, they can fall down or they can fall off your bed. So I opted to get a little playpen and it, you know, it just is on the floor. It does have like a little barrier type thing around it. So it kind of gives you more peace of mind as opposed to just like having a blanket on the open floor. Kind of makes them feel like they're more enclosed. And then it has the little sort of like a mobile over the playpen. So that's sort of like entertains them a little bit. Um, but yeah, I feel like these two options, you know, just give you peace of mind and then just gives you an option of 
putting them down sometimes to get a few things done around the house or anything like that. So yeah, if you've tried any other options, let us know in the comments and that way people can, you know, hear different, different brands and seeds and things like that. Okay, now we're on to item number nine. And whether you're planning on breastfeeding or using formula, obviously you'll need a bottle. Well, obviously you'll need a bottle for formula, but I think even if you're planning to breastfeed, having a bottle is a good idea. Sometimes it's really nice, like if you pump milk and then you know you have someone else feed your, the baby. It's just like a nice little break sometimes. So I use a couple different bottles, Dr. Brown's, this is the, I think the wide mouth. Um, so it holds five ounces, which is plenty enough for, for the newborn stage, like zero to three months. Um, but yeah, this one helps with colic. So kind of doesn't allow the baby to like ingest the air. My baby really seemed to like this one compared to the other bottles. So yeah, I would definitely recommend just having a few on hand, even if you're um, planning to breastfeed, this would be a great option. And then with, you know, having bottles, then you would also need to sterilize them. So item number 10, I would say you need a sterilizer, um, you know, just to really clean the bottles, disinfect everything. And if you're pumping, then it's a good idea to put your pumping parts and the bottles into the sterilizer. I think they say like at least once a day if you're using your pump every day. So yeah, those are the 10 items. So I hope this was helpful and be sure to like the video and subscribe for more videos like this and just to, you know, join the community. So I'll see you next time.